Hey everyone, Jay Staples, Sober Caddy, Sober Caddy Chronicles. Uh, the art of communication, the art of just talking has been lost, uh, which I'm just uh, a sober caddy rant, I guess, the last couple of days. Uh, you know, it's amazing to me uh, what can be found out by just sitting down and talking with someone. And, you know, we've got, I've had several people, you know, try to get Sober Caddy involved in, in a situation and so forth like that and there was a lot of uncertainties and not a lot of questions could be answered and you know give a nice 45 minute conversation and all those questions were answered turns out no one's asking no one's talking no one's wanting to get to the real issue and once we eliminate the judgment and the consequences and so forth like that and just truly understand it's it's the power of long-term recovery it's the power of fellowship uh, one addict alcoholic sitting down and talking with an ad, another addict or alcoholic and when a true connection can be had when when both people or whoever is in the room know that they can look the, themselves in the eye and know that they've been through similar situations and they know what they're talking about a true connection can be had and more stuff will be revealed and so forth these families wanting all in good motives. I'm not taking away that they're trying to ruin anything, but this piling on and overbearing and micromanaging, you know, lives of their loved ones trying to get addiction to like shoo out of like a, a fly inside of the house. Like addiction is not just going to fly away, and we got to eliminate that. The only way to do that is to bring in outside resources and so forth like that. So Caddy does that. But let's start getting in our, I mean, let's stop with texting and, you know, I've been saying it for a couple of weeks, you know, lives are being dictated by text messages and body language. Let's stop doing that. I'm, gonna, I'm looking in the mirror and saying that as well, but because i am been guilty of it. All too often, it's much, much easier to reply to people in text messages and so forth like that. And then when life is, I've been real busy and so forth, and how's my body language? How is, you know, are people willing and ready to, to approach me or anything like that? What's my body language saying? And that's what we have to pay attention to. And all too often, the cases that I've seen in the last couple of the days we're talking about body language and text messages let's get to the heart of let's sitting down looking eye to eye knee to knee and let's talk that's all we want to do that's what sober caddy wants to do solution hope and help can be had but let's just get to know each other first let's i can tell you i've been sober since october 19 2008 i've been in Places I never thought I would be. I've been around people I never thought I would hang out, hang out around with. I've been in jail cells, which I've never been, never thought I'd be in jail cells. I've been in front of a, a, a judge in an orange jumpsuit, which I never, never thought. In front of my parents. Addiction one. And as soon as I understood that I just needed to surrender to that, as soon as I realized that my biggest enemy was me waking up every single day, and that drugs and alcohol were no longer, they never were the problem. They were just my solution to get outside of myself. And addiction stole connection away from me.